There's a young man that falls three, three stories from a windowsill. Bam, dies. Paul walks downstairs, gives him a bear hug, says he's fine, get up. The young man gets up and walks along merrily on his way. Hi, I'm gonna do the devotional today on Philippians chapter three, verses 12 through 16. So before I start in verse 12, I'm gonna back up a few scriptures just to set the stage for what Paul's talking about. He says in verse 10, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. Paul goes on in verse 12 to say this, not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of it. In verse 13, he goes on further to say, brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. Again, Paul is speaking of his heart desire to know Jesus, to know the power of his resurrection. And he's going on in verses 12 and 13 to say, but I do not yet lay hold of it. Folks, here's the thing. When I read this, the thought that comes to mind is, Paul, are you kidding me? Do you have amnesia? Guys, we're talking about Paul, the man who saw Jesus, the man that Jesus spoke to. I'm like, Paul, did you forget about Acts 20? There's a young man that falls three, three stories from a windowsill. Bam, dies. Paul walks downstairs, gives him a bear hug, says he's fine, get up. The young man gets up and walks along merrily on his way. Paul knows Jesus and he knows the resurrection power. So I just find Paul's statement a bit odd. But in verse 13, he goes on to explain it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind me and straining toward what is ahead. You know what he's saying? I am moving forward in the kingdom. I've seen a lot. Yes, I've done a lot. But folks, what he's saying is, folks, you ain't seen nothing yet. And that's intense, right? I read that and I'm like, well, good for Paul. He was a bit of an overzealous madman, as we all know. He's clearly talking about himself. He's not talking about us. But then he goes to verse 15. All of us who are mature should take such a view of things. Uh-oh. Looks like he is talking about us. Here's the thing. It's clear. Paul's not the kind of guy who's going to sit around the campfire, kick his legs up, and talk about the good old days, how good things used to be. What he's saying is, folks, there's always, always more of the kingdom that we can walk further into. Jesus affirms this. I'm going to read John 14, 12. You guys have heard this scripture. Truly, truly, I say to you, the one who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I am going to the Father. Folks, Paul and Jesus, they both laid it out. On this side of heaven, there's no place for complacency. There's never a time you're going to say, I've matured to the point where I've arrived. The message is, there is always more of the kingdom for us to walk further and further into in this life. And this world will be a better place because of it. Thank you.